It's the funnest thing I do all year long, and I've always said it's probably the, uh, the least sensible thing I do professionally, because there's only a 1,400 other boats out there that want to bump into you. And as, as a harbor pilot, you don't want to bump into other ships. My name is Captain John Timmel. I have uh, been the sailmaster and the ship committee chair for the last 27 years. We may be the biggest flotilla in the world. We are towed by the Dorothy. It's a tugboat that was built in 1898, and she leads the uh, flotilla every year. So it looks like the ship is self-propelled and moving along by itself. What Gasparilla started as was a way to put Tampa's name on the map. Uh, it was started by some of our civic leaders uh, back in 1904 who were saying, how can we get more people to come to Tampa in January and February? So we'll come up with a festival and uh, only in Tampa would that festival be based on a pirate. Coming up on 120 years uh, old, and one of the many fun parts is that there's third and fourth generations that are involved. I think Gasparilla is really important to Tampa, Hillsborough County, and Tampa Bay as a whole in that uh, it celebrates uh, who we are. It's, it's, it's become our identity. Everything has a t uh, the pirate ship in the background. That's who Tampa is and that's who we are. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a member of You Missed a Crew of Gasparilla or a newcomer to the city, you're still a pirate. Pirate for the day. The economic impact that we have uh, on the city of Tampa and Hillsborough County and the whole Tampa Bay area is extraordinary. But for most of the citizens and for we pirates, it's a great celebration. If I have a legacy, uh, it's that we brought the ship from a little bit more of a casual thing to a much more formalized and, and, and safer vessel.